Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday where we explore a feature in just a few minutes. In this week's video we're discussing the useful features known as Draw Shapes. This feature allows you to quickly create useful database entities. The four shape options are polygons, boxes, cylinders, and spheres. In this video we're going to look at the sphere option and of all the shapes this is one of the simplest so let's get right to it. There are two ways to enter into the Draw Shapes Sphere panel feature. The first is simply to use this drop down menu and select sphere. You can see it takes you to it. The other way to get into the draw shapes sphere panel feature is to select create draw shapes sphere. Now we have the panel feature open. It has a fourth tab here called draw shapes. Now that the panel feature is open, let's look at how to use it. First, let's assign a center for our sphere. Check the box that says point placement. Type in 000. zero, zero press the enter key. Note that a little yellow square is created to denote the center of our sphere. Next, let's include some shape parameters. Check on the shape parameters box if it's not already expanded. The easiest way to create a sphere quickly is just to type in the radius, for example 10. There we have a sphere with radius 10. If you don't like this, you can grab the green handle and you can drag it, make it larger or smaller. Note that it is changing the radius entry on the panel. You can also change the base angle and the top angle. Let's, for example, we'll change it from 180 to 145. We'll take it down to 90. All right, let's put it back to 180 though for this example. Now under the shape options checkbox here, you have a few more things that you can control. For example, if you only want half of a sphere, let's say you're running a symmetric model, you would click on half and we'll rotate it so you can get a good view of this. That's only half a sphere. If you don't want this inside disk to be a surface, just click on none over here. And now it's just a shell. It's just a hemispherical shell. As with all draw shape options, once you push OK or apply, Pointwise creates a model made up of quilts to define each of the major surfaces. Let's push OK. Note that we only see this curve here. That's because we have it drawn in wireframe. Go down to drop down, select shaded. You can see that hemispherical shell. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.